Okay, in this video, we're going to review some uh, geometry symbols that we've been using up until now, but I think it's probably a good idea to have a little bit of review since people might have, um, since we have so many of them now, we're probably starting to maybe mix them up a little bit. So I want to start with parallel lines, then we're going to talk about congruent uh, lines and symbols, similar or similarity lines and symbols, and then finally the perpendicular symbol itself. So let's start with parallel lines. Remember that two parallel lines never will meet, right? And if two lines are parallel in any figure, okay, you use that, you indicate that rather by using arrows on the parallel lines. So for example, in this first figure, we would say line segment DE, and usually you just use the alphabet, go like D comes before E. So you'd say line segment DE is parallel to line segment BC. And again, you'd use these little arrows. Now, remember, parallel does not mean equal or congruent. It just means that they are parallel. Now, if the figure happens to have a second set of parallel lines, like here, you use two arrows to indicate. So we would say here that line D is parallel to line E. So I put two uh, two arrows on both, because line A, B, and C are all parallel to one another, and those all have single arrows. Okay. Now, how do you write that out? You go ahead and, for, the, for this figure, for example, you'd say line segment DE, straight line above the top, is parallel, and it looks like an equal sign on its side, okay, to line segment B, C. All right, so that is the parallel symbols. Now, how is that different from congruent? Remember, congruent uh, basically just means equal, right? So when sides of a triangle or any polygon are congruent, you use a single slash mark through each of the sides that are equal. What does that mean? If you look at this example, I'm saying that the length DE is equal or congruent to the length F G. All right, again, go use the alphabet to determine which letter comes first. Now, if a second set of lines are in the figure that are also congruent, you use two slash marks. So I would say D G is congruent to E F, but they're not congruent to these two here. So I have to indicate by using a different set of or number of slash marks, okay? And I would write them like this. ED is congruent, and this is the symbol you use for congruent. Um, there's actually two ways to do this. Sometimes you will see a total equal sign, a complete equal sign with a squiggle on the top. Sometimes you'll see a single line with a squiggle on the top. They both mean the same thing, and they mean congruent, okay? So that's what these two mean. Let's move to the third symbol that we're going to be talking about, and that is similarity or similar. Now, similar figures, right, you don't use similarity slash marks, for example, in a, um, when, you, when you're talking about similarity. Similarity basically means that your two figures are proportional to one another. Okay, and you set up proportions. There's a different video to show you what that is. But the way you, what I wanted to show you here, these are two triangles that are similar. For example, this triangle C, E, F, in other words, this big triangle, is similar, again, which means proportional, to the smaller triangle C, D, G. Again, there's a way of figuring it out. I'm not going to go through it in this particular video. Uh, there's another one for that, but this is the symbol that you want to use for similar. It's just the squiggle without the equal sign or the single slash line underneath. Okay, that just means proportional to one another. Finally, the last symbol I want to go over is perpendicular. Now, what does it mean to be perpendicular? When two lines or line segments form 90 degree angles, that's indicated by this little red half square. When they're perpendicular to one another, they form 90 degree angles. And I would write it this way. Line segment CD is perpendicular to DG. In other words, it forms a 90 degree angle. 
Now the other one that does that, as you can probably see right here, is that CE, line segment CE, is going to be perpendicular to line segment EF. And again, you put the upside down T uh, between the two line segments. Okay, I hope that was helpful to you for a review.